prep will be so much easier if you have a well-stocked pantry. So Randy and Marilyn are back and we are gonna go through your pantry essentials. Like this is all of the stuff you need so that you are ready Monday to Friday to throw down in the kitchen. It's not only well-stocked, but organized. Yes. There's so many times I'm just like rooting through mine and I almost have to climb inside it and I can't <laughs> find them, lose it. I run to the store and get it and I come home and the next week I find it. I just oh. want to pull my hair out. You know, you ever have that Worst. feeling? Yes. yes. And you know what? I think a pantry is kind of a window into the into the cook's soul. Uh -oh. You know, so if you go into a, <laughs> so so yours deep. is messy, that's a whole different thing. But what you what you've got in it oh, is yes. kind of like tells you what the kind of a your cook arsenal. you are. That's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's and, true. And um, I think it's really important to shop your pantry first before you go to the grocery store. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so if it's all really organized, you won't be spending and wasting money. So yes. I wish yes. out my pantry first. We're gonna talk about oils Let's first. Let's start okay. over here with the oils. oils. What do we need? It's essential. Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, I'm straight up olive. That's what I always use. I have a little oh, bit of really? vegetable in there, but you know, nine times out of ten, I'm olive oil. It's olive oil. It's olive oil okay. because it just goes everywhere. It does everything. Yeah. And then, yeah, you might have the one for frying and like maybe a for, but I wouldn't put it in a salad dressing. So okay. um, I'm a I'm a combo. I do canola and extra yeah. virgin olive oil. I do canola for baking and for like a neutral flavor and and high fat cooking and, and barbecuing. Mm -hmm. And then I use uh, I use Italian olive oil. And I just want to make a point that once again to find authentic, look for it's going to say IGP or DOP on the label and then that okay. way you know you're getting the real deal as opposed to you know getting stuff that isn't or, like picked and pressed when it was supposed to be so. well you could find and, some from Tunisia and it's certified go. organic and okay. it's probably a better product for a better price but anyways <gasps> you talk, are slagging me anyway. where's my whistle say, yeah, where's say. my whistle uh, too much fashion Pantry on the passion wars. I don't know but fight fight you know what? fight 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 fight, fight. Uh, this? Find an oil you like and use it. Right, it's the same go. as red wine. Some people like really expensive stuff. Some people like cheaper stuff and whatever. As long yeah. as you enjoy it, that doesn't matter, right? Okay, so yeah. we've done we've done our oils. I'm going to agree to disagree. Okay, okay. moving you in the on. Foot. Okay, so oh, you can <laughs> kick me in the foot. I'm going to kick you where the... Anyway, okay. Okay, vinegar is really important and also flavor enhancements like things yes. like a, like a soy sauce. Always use a soy sauce that's been 100% um, soybean. Look for the ones that either. Okay. So tamari is your you know total, or yep. there are some brands that just use soybean, mm -hmm. and that's okay. the one you kind of want. And I always go light for the sodium. Right. And then things like sherry vinegar, balsamic vinegar, it's red wine vinegars. You need that like apple cider. Yeah, and then you yeah. want to infuse your own. Get some rosemary, all your herbs at the end of the year, that kind of stuff. And because the, the oil and the vinegar is a start. Okay, right. so you've got these. You've got your essentials. You've yep. picked the ones that you love the best. Let's move into the grains. Oh, okay. They should go on forever, right? <laughs> but I always wanted something that they can get you quick, because if we're in a really big hurry, then you want some like almost ready to go. So like udon noodles that are like yes. bang, they're ready to go. Yep. Egg noodles only take a few minutes, right? Then you get into like say a couscous, a little mm -hmm. hot water, and you're a star. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that kind of thing. And I'm into the whole grains where you're going to cook them. It takes a little bit longer, but it's the stove that's cooking it. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not really a big deal. So uh, I use a lot of barley. I use sparrow, spelt. I love saying sparrow. Sparrow. Spelt, uh, wheat berries, which is actually yeah. just a wheat kernel. And I, I, I do a lot of whole, whole grain pasta as well. Because okay, I just nice. really want you to have fiber in your diet. And so that's my yes. way of making sure that I'm introducing it to you. So tons right. and tons of fiber wherever you can get it. Exactly. Uh, you guys also brought bread, which makes me happy. But that's not, <laughs> that's not really in the pantry, I is it? I put it in the pantry. That's what you do with it? Yeah, do you? I put it, yeah, I put it in there. Okay, the so pantry. that's your soul. I don't yeah. do that. All right. Listen. But you know what? I get a free kid. I put yeah. eggs in my pantry. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Listen, the Europeans, you can't find eggs anywhere in the grocery store because they're on the shelf. they're on the shelf. No, no, and you And you know, know what? Why? Let me ask you a question. When you're baking a cake, Right? Fight, fight, do you want fight. to use a room temperature <laughs> egg or do you want to use a cold egg? You want to use a room temperature egg, but they wash the bloom off the eggs in Canada. Mm -hmm. The reason you can put a shelf egg in, in Europe is they don't wash the bloom off. So there's a coating oh. on the eggs that they don't take off. That's why you can put them on the counter. This is we so should not store ours on the counter. I love it. When the egg came okay. out of the chicken, oh, yes. was it cold or was it hot? <laughs> I'm all about beans and so I've got a whole bunch of you know I always have beans in the, and I, in the summertime and through September and when it's warm out I always keep an un, a, 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 like an unopened can in my refrigerator so right. I can make a bean salad that's already cold oh, cool. so right. it's kind of a, like a little yeah, yeah. tip yeah okay very smart and all right a good and flaxseed hello yes. mm -hmm. this is fiber now this is called a laxative uh -huh. but if it's ground up it's called whoa I'm really happy yeah and so always have it ground up don't I mean <laughs> Eating them whole is like, hello, it's goodbye, tough. see it's you tough. next July. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> right. Yeah, we have, we have the ground kind. 
Yeah, so yeah. Not right to the ground up. Right to the ground up. This is your then, favorite. I, no, this is my favorite. So, like, just flavor power. It's fermented black beans. It and it's like, no, it doesn't. It smells like chewing tobacco. I don't mind that it's smell. It's like gorgeous. I smell it's just that. like body and earth. And it's just like, oh, it you just a bit put like a little body. body. <laughs> <laughs> You're so great. But you put a bit of this into a stew or into a stock, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, it was missing that. Smell some body and earth. Oh, yeah, it smells yeah, like that's bio. A home run. Anyway, no, okay. listen, so 10 bucks this will last you a year, and then this will go forever. Hey, and speaking of times and stuff, whenever you like like when you go shopping put your new stuff at the back and then put the old stuff in front mm. so that you're, you're you're cycling through first yes. in first out, first yes. in, first out. Yeah. and then I use a lot of see-through stuff because I like so to be able smart. to see what I've got as yes. opposed to like you open the box and you go what there who who left four pieces of pasta in here yes insert Scott's name <laughs> my husband yeah so anyway that makes me nuts anyway uh, what else we have to do stock oh, uh, yes. that's really important so this is broth mm -hmm. versus stock so mm -hmm. you can buy broth I use the low salt, no salt added one. I use the extra salt. Yeah, and I put salt in. <laughs> and I put more salt in. And we'll see, we'll see who dies first. Anyway, okay. And, and I, <laughs> you might not be there. <laughs> My unrefrigerated eggs. <laughs> and when it comes to maple syrup, always 100% pure in yes, North America. Please on. don't buy yeah. pancake syrup or we'll Anywhere come to your house in the world, don't cry. do that. That's yeah. like, I don't even yeah. know what's in that. So that's just corn syrup. If yes. you're just getting pancake syrup, this is maple. Maple. Which is maple. Good. From, from, the the tree. Tree. from the tree. From the tree. From a real tree. Yes. Very nice. Okay.